Good morning. I haven't filmed in a while, so this will be interesting. I say a while, I filmed like three weeks ago. Anyway, I'm gonna film a weekend in my life, maybe? Right now I'm sat with my coffee in my coffee cup that says bring me coffee and I'll love you forever. My dad brought me coffee before he left this morning. It's nine o'clock now. So you can hear my mum coughing in the background. She's very ill. My family's very ill. Today I am driving back from Bristol to Brighton. Tonight I have a friend's birthday party that I'm going to try and go to. I feel slightly awkward because I don't really know anyone going because I'm a different like age range to everyone else. I'm probably going to be the youngest one there, but I feel like I need to go and show my face. But yeah, if you haven't met me before, hi, my name is Alice, nice to meet you. It's the start of 2020. It's a new year. <laughs> I'm annoyed because I still have loads of videos I want to film, but I can't seem to find my memory card anywhere. I want to film my news resolutions and I want to film my top songs of 2019. That's one of my favourite things to film. Today I am waiting for my friend slash my friend brother he's my friend's brother but he's my friend but he's my friend's brother to come around and pick up a jumper that i accidentally took from him when i went to that house it was just a plain black jumper you can't see it but it's on the edge there and i must have just put it in my bag in immy's room thinking that it was mine but it's not it's his but it was in immy's room so he might be coming to get that today before I leave. I'm gonna drink some coffee, eat some Crave, because I bought some Crave whilst I was here, and then don't really know when I'm leaving. I don't really want to be doing too much of the drive in the dark, so maybe I'll chill for a bit, have some breakfast, grab some snacks, and then go. If you want to see what I do with my weekend, then keep watching. The past few days, I have been obsessed with Teen Wolf. I've definitely watched the whole of season four and half of season five whilst I've been home at Christmas. Do you know what I've also been obsessed with? I discovered a new musical called Six, which is about Henry VIII and his wives. That's what I'm going to play to get myself up. It's ten now, I've literally just been in bed doing nothing, apart from watching videos of a parish <laughs> from Dean Wolf, because I'm obsessed with him and Lydia. As soon as Isaac Leahy is not in Teen Wolf, I then wait for Parrish because he's like my fave. You know? It's quite short, it's only nine songs and it's 42 minutes, so it's a bit creepy at the start. Mum's gonna sleep in here tomorrow because she's really ill, so her and dad can't sleep in the same room. They keep each other awake, so I'm stripping the pillow and duvet, but not the sheet. You won't try ready. Also, this, right, is not my normal teddy. This is Lammy. I think Lammy is a build a bear thing, you know? No, no, I'm lying. Am I? I have no clue where they are from. I don't even remember if it's a girl or a boy, to be honest. I'm poor Lammy. 
was very dusty, very, very, very dusty. And so I got mum to wash. Are you a girl or a boy? It's literally the cutest thing since sliced bread. So here is Lammy, Meat World. Yeah, I think you're a boy. He's a boy. And I curled my hair last night in preparation for going to Henry's birthday thing tonight. But obviously it curled it loads so that I could sleep on it and it would live. But like now I just ha look like I've been dragged to see a bird's nest. And I got my nails did. Got my nails done did. My mother bought me this for Christmas. It's by the brand called Nourish and it's an argan skin renew with frankincense and rose of Jericho. It basically sounds hella fancy. Some would say bougie, but that's not normally a word in my vocabulary. It's so good. It makes me feel so great. That's my chat of the day about something I got for Christmas, considering I haven't done a what I got for Christmas video and I won't be doing what I got for Christmas. I got a new phone because every time I say this to someone, I feel the need to explain it because otherwise I feel like a spoil. I was gonna swear then, don't do that. My phone contract ran out just before Christmas. I had a seven. It would have probably bumped me up to like an eight or a 10. My parents pay for my phone whilst I'm in education, right? They would have still probably had to pay like 40 quid a month. I asked then for the 11, so I got the 11 in purple, lilac, whatever, with a lot more space because I only had 30, 32 gig of space and it was not enough. This is the one with like 100 and, and now I've swapped to gift gaff. And so now we've got the phone. It was a Christmas present and we now pay 10 or 12, I think it's 10, 10 pounds a month for the actual like phone contract. So basically I got a new phone but I would have got a new phone anyway because of my contract and this way it's less money and it makes a lot more logical sense and it just was like the sensible thing and that's my explanation about it. Shall I just leave it like this? So I've been, so I have a mirror on the outside of this cupboard and then if I ever want to do my hair and see the back, I can look in the back there and like sort it all out. Obviously just to clarify, I'm not actually leaving my hair like this because that's stupid. I'm just going to fix all of this and then I'll get back to you. Okie doke, it's half 11. I feel like I need to whisper because we have family out there. My auntie and her partner have come to chat to mum. <laughs> I am now, don't know what that was, eating breakfast. I am going to maybe start editing this video on here because I have my friend's jumper and I'm waiting to give it back to him but he's not telling me when he's getting here and like, hun message me. I've had a banana, I've got a bowl of dry Crave because I love Crave and one of my favourite things I got for Christmas. This is a Hufflepuff mug but it's not just any Hufflepuff mug. This is a colour changing Hufflepuff mug. When it's got hot stuff in it the badges go yellow and when it doesn't they're black. So I have my second cup of coffee in here. Something else here that I'm going to show you that I got for Christmas is this Miller Harris perfume that Grace got for me. I'm not even gonna try to say it. French. And I like this one. Cause it smells more like boyish. Like it's a little bit more musky, you know? So I need to pack this as well. That's what I'm gonna do with my time. Enjoying my coffee. See? All black. Okie doke, so I'm in the car. I don't have one of those magnet things. Oh, for frick's sake. I don't have one of those magnet things that I normally use to stick my phone to this thing. I'm trying to use the Tom Tom the uh, sat nav to get me to Brighton. First, I rang Shell Bright and he was asleep. It's one o'clock. I mean, it's half one now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring his jumper to him. The reason I wasn't doing that earlier, I was like, I don't know if he's awake. His sister, so my friend Amy that I've chatted about loads, goes to my uni as well. So we both go to Brighton. She's driven down with her parents today to go visit some family, some family or family friends, some family. She's gone down with them and I was like, if he's asleep, I ain't getting in, like there's nobody in the house. But he lives a 10 minute drive away and he was like, I haven't been missing the jumper much. And I was like, yeah, it's fair enough point, but it's been what, like two, three days. No, the, right, the issue is, I'm me, I would just steal the jumper and not give it back. But that's not very nice. And so if he wants it back, he needs to get it back. Because if he acts like he doesn't want it back, I'll keep it. You know, I'm one of them. I also need to drive home to take mum and dad the parking permit because again, forgot to do that. We're just waiting for a valid GPS signal. We're just gonna go, you know, I need to blow my nose. And I haven't planned what I'm gonna listen to either. 
That was intense. <clears throat> I'm a strong, independent woman. I can handle it. I need to remember to take this back because I forget every time. You know what? We move. I actually have lost the words. <laughs> so, guess who drives all the way <laughs> to Josh's house? It's Noise Jumper! <sighs> Public service announcement. If this belongs to anyone, <laughs> no one knows whose it is. It wasn't a wasted trip. Ah! And obviously, you know, got to see Josh as well for like three seconds. Don't know what to do with myself. This is gonna really annoy me. Like that's gonna really, really annoy me. Don't get me wrong. I like the jumper and I'm happy that I get to steal it, but like. <sighs> I used to be obsessed with them. Obsessed. And I'm rediscovering. And I'm rating it, you know? Two minutes past five we have arrived so i just got back in the flat i've had a goose and gander parcel right waiting for me in the shed outside since before christmas because they were meant to deliver it before i went home and then they didn't so like but obviously it's been in the shed for weeks 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 so i brought it in and it's all damp you know when it's cold and you're like is it cold or is it damp some of it's cold damp and some of it's damp damp you know like the bag for example let me show you like this is just damp this is me showing you what i bought from goose and gander and i'm really excited about all of it but obviously i'm just like in the panic mode of everything's cold and damp but i'm excited you know i got a purple lilac -y hoodie which i'm well excited for black fleece long sleeved gray top obviously the bag that you've all seen i've used the same backpack since i was 15 different ones because i've had to buy it multiple times so i bought this you know navy joggers excited for them they look comfy and then my like mystery black friday item that was this hoodie which i'm actually really excited for because shop horror i'm wearing goose and gander today they're exactly the same so i clearly like the color obviously the style's not something i've chosen it was a surprise which is meant to be the whole you know exciting thing about it so that's what i got from there my amazon thing also arrived a new beauty blender because mine was gross and i've had it for like a two and a half years nearly three years so that's grim bought a new one 13 pounds bought a planner i like this one because it's all made from like recycled stuff which is nice it's by smart panda and it's just 2020 and then basically in the front it's got you've got like a little over you here and then you can write like birthdays or really important stuff there and then there's a little written bit for the months in case you actually want to write some stuff and then you have a whole bunch of month plans let's say i had exams and stuff i could just like write them there so i can see what i have and as you go along it's got timed ones and as you guys know wait i don't know if i've got one on my wall somewhere i always print these off and do these so i write down the numbers at the side and i like time block what i'm doing and then i write like little to do's and notes and stuff so the aim for this is that i managed to find a planner that would do that for me so each night it stops at eight i'm really excited for that because i think it will help me get ready for the big boy i got this coffee flask so this is a coffee flask i don't know how many liters do you hold and basically what's really cool about it is so it's not meant to leak so it's not just like a travel mug where i can just you know drink it as i go like i can make coffee in the morning before uni put this in my bag and then take it with me and you can drink it with one hand and then you drink from there. It's like vacuum insulated, so it's meant to stay cold for 12 hours and hot for six hours. So if I made coffee in the morning, I could have it like after lunch. Hopefully it'll stop me spending unnecessary money on coffee because the coffee in the morning won't have stayed warm. Hopefully I'll be able to just like bring this and that's exciting. And yeah, so look at me being a productive bee with my beauty blender, my coffee and my planner. You know, like, look at me go. And now I have to put the rubbish away and go get my suitcase from the car. So I got overexcited and put some tea in it. And this is a lot of liquid, like a lot of liquid, like two and a bit cups of tea that I would normally have. And are you ready for this? I'm gonna do it over the sink because I still panic, but 
everything's on. I ain't gonna lie, kids. I don't see any leaking. That's exciting. Look at me living my best life. And then, oh, I am living my best life. What we can do, oh my God, how long has that food bin been there? Nah, nah. Nah, there's a food bin that's been there since before Christmas. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Mm -mm. So I nearly had the fright of my life. I heard noises outside. Now I went outside obviously to get my suitcase and the people from the flat upstairs were in our fire door cupboard. I like opened the door and was like, <laughs> the whole house rather smells like gas. So they have a lovely little gas problem and they are calling the national like gas emergency helpline thing and my plants are live oh my god i think my plants have made it i don't think that one has i'm gonna be honest but i think that one might have those two leaves were like that before we're gonna have to get rid of the christmas tree at some point and i left myself some chocolate so ah, it's a win-win oh wall of lows we meet again haven't seen you in a while this is the wall that we write all of our breakdowns on so i've actually banged it and i've put away all of my stuff, my suitcase is empty, all my bags are empty. Um, I'm now gonna get change for Henry's. He says he has pizza. And I was like, don't joke. When you say we have pizza, does that mean you have pizza? Or does that mean there's pizza that I can have? <laughs> he said both. So I'm gonna get ready. It's 20, 25 past six jacket not coat because that's what Henry said <laughs> my health face aren't here to like ask these questions but then I think he wants to go out afterwards so I'm like but I'm gonna try and sneak off before then but like we'll see I'm playing some really loud Taylor Swift because we in that mood I need to not do that because these jeans rip so easily I don't know what to wear no Here's my dilemma. I don't really want to dress slaggy because everyone's older than me. They're all from church and this guy's like older siblings are coming. I seem to have lost the ability to pick any and I've, I've forgotten all of the clothes that I own. Like, you know, when all of a sudden you just have a brain fart and you forget everything that you own and you think that oh, I have nothing, but I know I must have something, but I have nothing. And do I keep my hair up? Do I put it down? Oh, it makes me look like a businesswoman. But then I've had it up all day, so it's gonna have a massive lump in it. You know what? This is why you just don't leave the house. Oh, sick. Great. That's great. Charming. Great. 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 We love this. We love this energy. Wow. Wow. Ow. 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 Not gonna lie. Did just rip a fat chunk of my hair out. Sick, 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 sick. We love that. We love that. Put music on, Alice. Don't have a panic attack. Might just not go. Might just not go. Might just. Why am I going? I had an absolute life crisis. It is now 10 to 7. Oh, and I have no recourse. So, like, this is Thea's old top, right? And I think it's cute because it's kind of loose. I don't think it looks like slaggy. I think it looks really sweet. So I've just got black jeans. I'm ignore how dusty my mirror is. I need to clean that, that's gross. Black boots. This is what I look like, by the way. You can see. Oh, do I put this one on? It's either this or the one on the floor. Who knows? Who knows? Find out at the end of Alice's Breakdown, episode one. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, wow. <laughs> friends i am rough <laughs> i'm not that bad it's like lunchtime. it's 10 to 1 i didn't get back here until like 4 we went to henry's for drinks and i was legit planning on leaving after like an hour but didn't so went to some like opposite mashton like the wagon and horses or something like that and then wait hold on let me turn this around because this is annoying and then went to Seven Stars, and then went to the Black Lion, and then got food from Seaside Kebab, if you're ever in Brighton, it's a place to be. Got cheesy chips, 
and then went back to Henry's because three of his uni mates were staying there and one of his old home mates. And so we all ate our food and then when we were done with our food, I then got an Uber home because I literally only live like 10, 15 minute walk, but it was 20 to four in the morning. And I was like, I'm, I'm not like, I'm, I'm not doing that. Like I'm not dumb. I don't want to die. So like, I'm not doing that. And then woke up this morning, didn't sleep for a while, but here I am now. I have no food in the house. I don't think I'll go food shopping, but I don't have any food in. But I don't want any food right now because I don't feel swell. I don't have like a headache. I just feel like dulled down. Like everything's like dulled a bit. I'm seeing Chloe for coffee at around half three, four. And then going to church. So I don't think we'll have a coffee now because I don't want to give myself like a headache. So I think I'm going to have a tea, maybe a black tea with like flavoring spice it up a bit when i was panicking last night i have like a big pile of clothes on the floor so i need to sort that out oh and i'm like all goose and gandered up so i'm in my navy joggers these are sick so i got medium because i wanted them to be like huge on me and they're sick and like the waistband fits perfectly and they're just like large and baggy and everything i wanted and then i put the jumper on that i didn't order that came with the like the surprise thing and i actually really like it like i actually think it's pretty cool i'm gonna get on that millie comes back today i'm so excited millie comes back don't know when i think she's on her way now i need to take emily heather's vegetables out the fridge i said i'd do that damn it here's the tea i have a tupperware pasta that's gone moldy and i'm not even gonna try and salvage the tupperware i'm just gonna throw it in the bin so like i've rearranged my plants to try and revive them i think that one is dead that one's chilling this is now on the floor to try and get some sunshine we'll try and revive but like not I have my mango, black tea, a banana, and then thank you to Jandy, Jane and Andy, my lovely parents. Um, I stole this from the family home, stole with permission, so just took, you know, which is the innocent smoothie, and it's got all these great things in it, but it's just full of goodness, you know. I'm wearing my Tigger socks that Immy bought me, which are the absolute dream. I don't know whether to watch Gilmore Girls or Teen Wolf. Gilmore Girls is more of like Sunday afternoon chill vibe but I am loving Teen Wolf. It might be, I think it's gonna be Gilmore Girls. That is the vibes that we want right now, so. Fix me. So I am going to meet Chloe. Little like half folded over bun thing going on. So outfit of the day, the Goose and Gander jumper. These kind of office trousers, they were bought for my sister to be office trousers, but she, either she didn't like them or they didn't fit or anything. So they're mine now. They're not like the best fit. I'd rather that they were a little higher, but these are them. I just rolled up the bottoms a little bit. The shoes that I'm wearing are Pumas. I don't think I, there's a way for me to like get all of me in, but this is like what we're going for at the minute. I need to put lip balm on, get anything else in order and then I'm out. Hi guys, it is basically 11 o'clock on Sunday. Had coffee with Chloe, which was really nice. Um, I've missed her loads, haven't seen her in ages, so that was good. Went to church, afterwards got Mackie's because I was starving because I literally hadn't really eaten all day apart from a banana. <laughs> Went around Reese's for a bit. There was like a bunch of us, but I just kind of sat on the sofa and chilled because I was like vaguely hungover and tired. And then came back and saw Emily. So Emily had arrived earlier in the day. And so I gave Emily a massive hug and just like sat and chatted to Emily and Millie for like, like two hours, maybe hour and a half. I'm going to say two hours, which is nice. But yeah, so that is it for my weekend vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you want to see more of me, feel free to subscribe. But yeah, that is it for now. I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope you all had an amazing day and I will see you hopefully next Monday with another video. Bye.